we're still looking now forward to when it gets a bit colder. And when it gets a bit colder, we've got to heat our houses. Now, luckily for me, I've got wood literally coming out of the ground. And often the trees fall over, they get cut up. What do we do with them? And I thought, well, rather than keep going out and spending loads of money getting pre-cut wood, I'd actually cut it down myself. Now, I got myself a chainsaw. I haven't used it yet because I've had some people come on in and already start things off for me. But I did think I could actually turn what they'd cut into the logs ready for the, uh, the multi-fuel heaters. And I had a look on the internet using the old Google and I couldn't find anything that really suited me. I mean, we have farmers to the left and the one thing I don't want to do is to keep making lots of noise. I've got this sort of industrial chipper and, uh, and the chainsaws and I don't want to be adding to it. So I thought, well, why don't I get something that can use human power to make it work? And while I was doing my Googling, I came across something called the Duo Cut 10 ton hydraulic human powered log splitter. And it came from a company called Forest Master. And this is it. Now, it's not a very big unit, as you can see, but don't let that fuel fool you because it's actually just under 40 kilos and it's got a couple of wheels on it to uh, help you move it around but um, it's still a weighty bit I mean when you have what we have which is paths and you know we're a hundred meters from the house um, moving it around becomes a bit of a problem so one thing I'd say to Forest Master bigger wheels please now the assembly pretty straightforward didn't really cause me any problems at all was able to put it together within the space of about half an hour instructions weren't brilliant however we got there in the end. The way it works is you take your log, you pop the log in between these two blades. Now this is the key thing about this. It's got a blade at the top and a blade from the bottom that comes up and splits the log. And uh, it's got a hydraulic unit. So turning it this way actually allows the hydraulic to release so you can put things in and then by turning it up it's primed and ready now the key thing from your point of view is does it do what it's supposed to and is it easy to use so I've got some logs here and I'm going to grab one and we're going to test it out this is a pretty nice weighty piece so pop it on there two releases at the side, pull, drop it. Now the handles here are to help you to stabilise it and these are the foot pedals. Now this has not been tested, this is a dry run so if it works great, if it doesn't we'll try again. Very very minimal pressure. I don't think I had a, uh, the nozzle turned up properly. Okay, that's better. Right. Oh, and there we go. So, release. Blade goes down. Take another piece. Pop it back in. Release. Lock. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Now, if you're wondering, this blade isn't very sharp. No, there's the blade at the bottom. It's more the force, which is 10 tons, that actually pushes and splits the log. But for what I paid for it, and for what it does, I think it's one of the best buys this year.